Welcome to Atma and today we are learning the slice tool and the slice select tool in Photoshop and this is part 2. So let's make a slice first. This is the user generated slice or the manual slice and the rest of the four are auto generated slices as we have all learned from the first tutorial. Now let's select the slice select tool which is tucked under the select tool and its shortcut is C. The slice select tool can select slices as the name suggests. So let me just select a slice for you. I'll select the first auto-generated slice. But before that, I'm going to zoom in and show you that the edge around the first slice is grey at this moment. So if I go ahead and click on the slice, the edge of the slice will turn somewhat dark blue. And as you can see, when the manual slice is in unselected state, it's going to be yellow. And if I click on the user slice, its edges turn blue. Similarly, you can also select the other auto-generated slices. The slice select tool can also move slices, so I'll click on the third slice and then move it. The rest of the auto-generated slices will then adjust and fill the rest of the space accordingly. So if I move the manual slice again, you will see that the rest of the auto-generated slices rearrange themselves again. However, you cannot move an auto-generated slice, so if I click on the first auto-generated slice and try to drag it, nothing happens. It only lets you move the manual slices. If you hold shift and drag the slice, the movement will be constrained either horizontally or vertically. You can also scale the slices with the slice select tool. So I'll select the third slice and head over to the corner and when the icon changes, I'll freely scale the slice. But if you hold on to shift, you can constrain your scale to proportion. You can also transform the slice by dragging from the edges. You can also make an exact duplicate of the slice. You can do that by clicking on the slice, then hold ALT and then drag it. You can also delete the slices. You do that by selecting the slice and then either hit delete or backspace on your keyboard. With the slice select tool, you can promote or convert an auto-generated slice to a manual slice. To do that, select the auto-generated slice you want to promote and then click on promote over here. You can see that the label of the slice has turned blue, meaning it's a manual slice or user slice now. Now one by one, I'll promote the rest of the auto slices. The five slices are manual slices right now. You can also divide a slice into further smaller slices. I'm gonna divide the third slice, so I'll select the third slice, then go to divide. So let's divide it horizontally. You can have as many slices you want, I want four slices. Let's divide it vertically as well and have four slices. I've explained these options elaborately in part one tutorial, so I recommend checking that. These are the two manual slices or the user slices that I've created and you can also align them. If you want to align the top edges, all you need to do is select the two slices and then click align top edges. You can also align the slices horizontally. To do that, select the two slices and then click on align left edges. I've discussed all the alignment options in detail in my move tool tutorial and I highly recommend you check that out. You can hide the auto generated slices. Now this is the manual slice, the third slice and the rest of the four slices are auto generated. So if you want to hide the auto generated slices, you head over to hide auto slices and all of them will be hidden. And if you click on the option again saying show auto slices, all of the slices will be visible. Now this option is mainly used for building web pages. This is a vast topic on its own and I'm not going to be covering that in this tutorial. And this is it from me today. Make sure to check the other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.